Mine? Wait, no. Mine? I'm, it's not me. It's not me this time. Generic control in the deck goes move here. Back with another episode of Welcome to Nightville. Today we're doing episode 21, which is a memory of Europe. I've never been to Europe. Some of you are probably in Europe right now watching this video. So I'm not really sure what your memories of Europe are going to be, but it's going to be very interesting to see how Night Vale talks about Europe. It's crazy that they even know that Europe exists. Last week's video was Poetry Week. You can check my reaction to that video. I'll leave it right up there. Also link down below in the description and in a place on my channel with all my other Welcome to Nightville reactions. Go in a chronological order. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope I can make it just a tiny little better. Also, shout out to patients because this would not be happening if it was not for them three dollars a month get you all my reaction videos a day early like i said it really would not be possible if it wasn't for them but i do get our comments whether you're a patron or not whether you're subscribed or not but i hope you are subscribed as we are what less than eleven thousand subscribers away from a hundred thousand trying to hit it before my birthday in july but this is going to be interesting that they're making these a little bit longer the last one was over 30 minutes long this one is just shy of 30 minutes long so kind of interesting to see what they do with that extra time i don't know if they have other like uh, viewer submitted stuff like the last one they had like uh you know poems sent to them on twitter i believe so i'm not sure if that's gonna be a similar thing in this one but let's go ahead and jump on into it hi i'm uh, joseph Fink, joseph Fink. creator of welcome to night fail also the the weather the show, is going to be down here deeply appreciate it the, if you donate the first However one's going to be the time in my video continue to make this show the lower number is what time it is in there to describe to your friends as we all want it to be we also have stuff I mean, Night Vale is still going on, in the so. Mail if you donate more. And hey, thank you, Matthew Gagne, Din Nguyen, and ah. Daniel Olson, as well as everyone else who already contributed. Go to commonplacebooks.com and click on Welcome to Night Vale to do the same. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Hang a map of a place you'll never go on your living room wall. No. Draw new streets. There actually is only one thing on my living room wall. off bodies of water. Outside of the TV. Wait for news crews to arrive. Welcome to Night Vale. Okay. A place I will never visit. What's one place I will never visit? Is there any specific place that I never want to go to? Because if someone offered me to go to Australia, I'd go. If someone offered me to go to Antarctica, I want to go in there to the Antarctica. Teddy Williams, owner of the Desert Flower Bowling Alley and Arcade Fun Complex, yeah. has reported that he is starting an around-the-clock militia watch on the entrance to the buried city beneath Good. the pen retrieval area. Somebody's being of proactive in Night Vale. Let's go. This watch will consist of a line of patriotic volunteers mm. armed to the teeth and forming an unbroken perimeter along the whole armed, of the bowling say. area. Teddy admits that this will make bowling slightly more difficult than usual. Yeah, yeah. And league games may have to be rescheduled or made illegal. But he adds that this is a small price to pay for safety. The other I mean, it's, at least he's like being proactive about it, not waiting for him to cents, Which is how much he would like every single good Night Vale citizen to pay him for this important defensive service it's not that against much, is it? the unknown but presumably fearsome and dangerous aggressors from the buried city. Hmm. Witnesses have reported seeing the Apache tracker out back of this the guy's bowling alley. Still around in fervent discussion with a man in a tan jacket. I'm, it's Sheriff's not me. Secret police it's not me this time. That the conversation was too quiet for them to hear and remind God, that was so much fun. I would put on two, jack two tan jackets. In a loud, declamatory manner. Well, I think I have a third tan jacket now. And making dramatic gestures to increase both the ease and excitement of their surveillance duties. The man in the tan jacket was described as impossible to remember, but presumably a man of some Live. kind with facial features and limbs. Why would he the have those? The tracker was described as a real jerk <laughs> just now by me. Yeah, that sounds about right. Listeners, the coming of the first gentle winds of spring has brought me back to my college years hmm. and to the late spring I week. spent backpacking through Europe 
Truly, season went to this Europe, is a milestone and he ended up in, in the Nightmare? life of any young person able to afford it, and I am thankful for the opportunity. I remember spending a wonderful period in the country of Svitz. Svitz, of course, land of low rolling hills and off-key tones heard on the breeze. I don't know, I just is watched Midsummer. For the visitor with a strong constitution. And I watched Imaginary last night. That was a... <laughs> that My traveling partner and I stayed in a lovely two-bed <laughs> hostel, situated <laughs> in a plywood shack on a steep hillside. The incline meant that my partner kept rolling into me, and then we would both roll out of the shack and tumble down and down until we came to rest in a ravine full of thorns and fragrant, violently blue flowers. At which point, okay. we would trudge up the hillside, settle in, only to have it happen over again. Oh, we laughed and laughed. The situation was made stranger by the fact that I don't remember having a traveling partner before or after Svitz. Who Wait, they joined for just that? Who knows? It all seemed perfectly normal at the time. Mm-hmm, I'm sure it was. I also don't know how long I stayed in Svitz. Rolling I don't down know if he ever went to Europe. Climbing up again. I don't know if these what memories are the real. Tones on the breeze, the intoxicating smell from those flowers, and the fact that it was never any time but the middle of the night, it was difficult to keep track. But it couldn't have been more than a decade or so. Eventually, I was knocked out on one of our falls, and the when I awoke, it was in a different country. You rolled into another country while asleep? And no one I talked to knew where the country of Svitz was, or even had heard of it. Anyway, it was a Cecil? lovely place, Cecil? and I would say it's a must-see for any European um, nope. traveler that can find it. No, nope, I'm good. I'm good on that one. Trish Hidge, from the mayor's office, called a press conference today in which she stood in front of a large truck, painted in bright neon colors and decorated with flashing lights, and resolutely like denied the truck's truck? existence. Mm. She continued this denial so, so the for Edward Elric treatment and through a lengthy round of questioning from the gathered reporters, although it should be noted that many of the questions took the form of just pointing at the truck and raising an eyebrow. Ms. Hidge admitted afterwards that the conference was simply a workout for her denial skills, which she says she must keep sharp through constant practice and which she also says do not exist. She was then heard to deny the sky, the existence of a loving deity, and eggs. EWGS eggs? eggs. Real, she said. Nuh-uh. Show me an egg. That's not an egg. What's an egg? Who let you in here? That gives big Simone uh, Rigido, the lady on the plane is like that. Transient, is not real. Living in a recycling closet in the Earth Sciences Building at Nightvale Community College, released a statement today, saying that the world has ended. Hmm. The world ended three or four decades ago. And she all that's left is Nightvale and Subway Desert Bluffs. Sandwich wrapper. Nah, actually, I don't know what this thing is that we're living in. But it's not the world. Scientists won't investigate it because they're not real. <laughs> Turkey with extra Swiss. I've never I think had that Swiss last cheese. Bit was already written on the wrapper by a Subway sandwich artist or one of their familiars. Okay, so she wrote it on well, a Subway. Provocative stuff from one of the foremost minds in the Earth Sciences Building ever since it was condemned by the city as unsafe and left vacant. Has the world ended? What would the world uh. ending even mean? And how did Simone get this subway wrapper, given that all subway restaurants have many entrances, but what do you no mean? exits? I'm sorry, as what, their motto subway? Goes, a thousand ways in, 
no way out. Eat fresh. Eat forever. So terribly, terribly fresh. Terribly, For apparently forever. Awesomely, gruesomely, terrifyingly fresh. For more on this world ending story, we now go live to the sound to... of an aquarium pump. No, that that is an aquarium pump, yeah. Mmm. Delicious. Why though? Uh. Returning now to my hazy and sepia-toned European memories. Oh, God. This sepia, which is a filter. I recall with great fondness. It's of not going to be a real one. Is the nation of Francia? That's supposed to be France. Francia, land of arches. Oh well, it does kind of sound like France. It is fascinating to see how other cultures live. Shaking you out of like your locked-in night valian ways. Night and Francia is a prime example. To see a culture that doesn't even have any people. A country with no population. Just ancient stone arches. <laughs> hundreds what? of Who built square them? miles of arches. Intertwining and leaning against each other. The wind hollows through the narrow alleyways as the lone traveler, camera in hand, explores the vast, <laughs> empty cityscape. One doesn't need to be able to speak another language to be able to try your hand at communicating inside the borders of Francia. Merely call out, Hello? The After long, silent intervals, and hear your call echo back to you from the depths of the knotted, crumbling arches, unanswered. The beauty, O oh, listeners of intercultural exchange. Uh-huh. Of course, despite the fun times I had, curled up with a blanket through the long nights of Francia, Looking up at the stars <gasps> in a haze of cheap wine, no visit can last forever. Uh, how long Eventually, were you in I became Europe? convinced that I was not alone. Was he in like a different lab. version of Europe? That somewhere amongst the arches was a beast stalking me. Mm. I would stand still for hours. Hours? Listening how? to that wind. Searching for the slightest sound of movement off in the distant halls of arches. I fled Francia, running desperately for the border. Finding dead where? end after dead end before, heart pounding, I crossed into the next country Which was... and fell to my knees on the grassy hill of the countryside, the arches like having Spain. stopped completely at the border. And I swear, listeners. What? What the next country? I swear that in the moment of crossing, I felt a single claw graze against my back. I swear, I felt the endless wind of Francia turn hot and wet. The breath Ew. of the beast inches away from my neck. And I couldn't. Cross the line. So visit Francia. No! But, you know, watch out for the monster. It gives me big, um... That I may or may not have only imagined. What was... Th I just watched Imaginary last night. Um, the Spongebob episode? With now, the, uh, the, the circle on the ground? The, the campfire? The Nightvale Department of Transportation has advised us... That work crews are slithering on certain sections of Route 800. I don't think it's a road. Commuters road. are advised to drive slowly in these marked areas, huh. as construction-hatted workers will be roiling on the ground all roiling. over the place, a heaving mass of limbs and lolling, panting mouths. That's Fines Weird. for traffic violations in these marked areas are double. 
All finds outside of the marked areas are quadruple, as usual. I'll play. Also, that incentivizes the that, DOT has asked me to read the following advisory notice using their exact wording. Oh. So, Silverhawk, Copperhead, and the Gopher, activate. I repeat, activate. Execute mission Alpha Order November 66. Zulu zero one three. Lethal parameters acceptable. What does this spell out? I'm not quite sure what that means, but if you understood it, then avoid an annoying traffic ticket by obeying whatever dictate was being relayed. And remember, wear seatbelts. Of course, absolutely, they are a always. They cool fashion statement, and easily obtained by cutting them out of your own car and crafting them into any number of accessories. Honestly, and I could see fashion doing that. from our sponsors. Oh, is a real sponsor, is it? Seven lights in the window. Seven lights in the hall. Seven lights, seven lights, all in all. Six notes in the melody. Six notes form a dirge. A what? Six notes to rid you of the urge. Five ways of escaping. Five ways all blocked off. Five ways each one broken and lost. Four words in a whisper. Four words in your ear. Four words that fill you up with fear. Ugh. Three taps of a finger. Three taps on a wall. Three taps as you try to stall. Two eyes wide what? and desperate. Two eyes squinting scared. Two eyes open, yes, but nothing there. One light in the window, one light in the hall, one light, one light, all in all. Is this, is this actually a sponsor? Taco Bell, live moss. Really? To return. There's once no more way this is actually a Taco Bell sponsor, was it? Just Europe in general, is all Taco Bell? just about looking at monuments. I thought that's what Europe's all about. talking to monuments. Mm, shouldn't do that. And licking monuments. That's definitely illegal. It's also about the people. One memorable interaction happened in the little alpine country of Luftnarp. Mm. It had been a long day of train travel and searching for then checking into a cold and dreary hostel. Of course, hostel is super popular. And I was in popular. desperate need of a warm meal and some good company. I remember heading down to the local alehouse, where the proprietor stared at me, frozen, with a gaping mouth and gray, ashy skin. So did everyone else in the place. Hmm. All of their mouths were stretched to almost cartoonish dimensions outside of the bounds of known medical science. Mm, it's fine. I asked for a plate of concerning. whatever they found most delicious. And they adding said... Adding a quick please in the local language to Cecil indicate spoke that I language? was trying to blend in. Mm, I don't think you're blending in. usual ugly American tourist. They graciously responded by letting out a guttural rattle in unison. Like a rattlesnake? And by not moving as I walked into the kitchen and devoured some of the less moldy potatoes Ugh. and a few mysterious and slightly sour sausages. I left them rattling away in their local tongue and frozen in a caricature of human terror feeling like I had not only gained a good meal, but a few new good friends. I don't know if they were friends. Big news in the science world. Carlos? Scientists announced that they have discovered science? the world's oh. 
deadliest spider. A previously unknown species that is as hard to spot as its bite is hard to survive. <sighs> Apparently, the specimen is was found when your dead body was mine? examined. Mine? Wait, no. Mine? They say you were a portrait of agony. Your skin, a myriad of pulsing, angry colors, and, oh, you know what? I'm sorry. This report is from next week. Ah, oh, things have gotten so confusing. I'm not even 27 yet. the wire services started using time machines. Never mind. No need to worry about that report for a few days. And I'm now, gonna worry about it now. The weather. Hey, the weather. Okay, and now we have the weather, which it's gonna be muted if we play a little game where we try to guess it. No word so far. Sounds like, I don't know, like, that's definitely not English. I don't know why, but it sounds French a little bit. I don't think it's French. I... I no idea. It sounds like like an old movies montage, like maybe with a car. The started sound like a car chase, but now it looks like a montage for like a old spy movie or something. Why did it sound like English there for a second? Ooh, oh! It's very smooth. Wait, why do I feel like this is... <sighs> is it Indian? One of the many languages that, uh, that they speak in India. I think it... That's like a crazy shot in the dark there. Somebody in the comments is gonna have to tell me what this music or what the what this actually is like what country or language. It definitely reminds me of like an old spy movie. It's a very interesting song, that's for sure. And that and that part right there reminds me of um, Supernatural, with uh, what "Carry On My Wayward Son," is it, or is it the other song they use? I was get disappointed when it wasn't Wayward Son. Definitely not French. Definitely. Definitely not Spanish either.
Why does it sound like oh Trey Bone? Trey Bone is definitely French. But doesn't that's literally the only part of it that makes me think it's French. I don't know. I mean, it would make sense for a Europe-themed episode. Thinking back, ladies. Looking back, gentlemen. Thinking and looking back on my European tour, I feel a heavy sadness descend upon me. Why? Of course, <laughs> it is partly nostalgic. Have a yawn in this video. What's looking wrong with back me? at that younger me, bustling around Europe, Having adventures and I overcoming go to obstacles that, at the time, seemed so overwhelming, but now seem like just the building blocks of a harmless story. Harmless. But here it's nightmare. Nothing's harmless is here. the truth of nostalgia. We don't feel it for who we were, but who we weren't. We feel it for all the possibilities that were open to us, but that we didn't take. Time is like wax dripping is from a candle flame. In the moment, it is molten and falling with the capability to transform into any shape. Then the moment passes and the wax hits the tabletop and solidifies into the shape it will always be. Until it melts again? It becomes the past, a solid, oh. single record of what happened, still holding in its wild curves and contours the potential of every shape it could have held. Hmm. It is impossible, no matter how blessed you are by luck or the government, or some remote, invisible deity gently steering your life with hands made of moonlight and wind, it is impossible not to feel a little sad looking at that bit of wax, that bit of the past. It is impossible not to think of all the wild forms that wax now will never take. Huh. The village, like the the, the past, cannot be changed. From a train window, beautiful and impossible, and impossibly beautiful on a mountain top, and you think wonder it's what it would be if you stepped off the moving train and you shouldn't walked do that. Don't do that. Trail to its quiet streets and lived there for the rest of your life. Hmm. The beautiful face of that young man from Luftnarp with his gaping mouth and ashy skin last seen already half turned away as you uh. boarded the bus already turning towards a future without you in it and was he happy about Where that this thing between you that seems so possible now already and forever never was all variety of lost opportunities spied from the windows of public transportation, really. It can be overwhelming, this splattered, inert wax, recording every turn not eh, taken. Yeah. What's the point? A good question. Ask. What is the point? Why, why are we bother, here? You say? You ever wonder why we're here? Oh, Cecil, you cry. Oh, Cecil. But then you remember, I remember, that we are even now in another bit of molten wax. We hmm. are in a moment that is still falling, still volatile, and we will never be anywhere else. We will always be in that most dangerous, most exciting, most possible time of most all. Most possible time. The now. Where yeah, we no time like the present. can know what shape the next moment will take. That's true. In any Stay moment, you can get some life-changing information. For... Well, let's just find out together, mm. shall we? Mm. I'm actually about to go record some Night Genshin Impact Tale. character demos, then a version trailer. Then I have to fight Sans at Undertale.
hopefully I can actually win this time. I think I'm, I'm going to play full screen instead of something smaller than my phone screen. Welcome to Night Vale is a production of Commonplace Books. It mm -hmm. is written by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner and produced by Joseph Fink. The voice of Night Vale is Cecil Baldwin. Original music by Disparition. So does Cecil not All of it can be downloaded write any of it? at Disparition.info. This episode's weather was Snibong by Dengue Fever. Find out more at DengueFeverMusic.com. We would like to thank our Night Vale intern, Adam Dunnels, who died, and three days later, we opened his tomb to find that he, miraculously, oh. is still dead. Want to have your music featured in the weather section? Want to contribute your talents to the show? Just want to say hi? Email us at nightvale at commonplacebooks.com or follow us on Twitter at Night vale Radio. Check out commonplacebooks.com no for more information on this show, as well as our books on the unused story ideas of H.P. Lovecraft and Give him a what proverb. it to be a grown-up. The multiplicity of Kevin. Consider clicking Apparently I'm not ready for that. That'd be cool of you. Today's proverb, ask your doctor if right is left for you. If right is left for you, the people that have to do this in order to... Yeah. Oh, God. That's... Oh, yep. The memes of people like, oh, yeah, like, adjust your, your left hand while doing pull-ups and let go and trying to figure it out. Hilarious. Night Vale, memory of Europe. I'm not sure if Cecil ever went to Europe. Maybe he thought it was Europe. Maybe his memory is telling him that it was Europe when it actually wasn't. Because I believe it's something... I don't know. They taught him, like, AP Psych. I never took AP Psych. I know everybody in high school took AP Psych. I didn't. Don't know why. Wasn't interested in it. But they talked about, like, your memories being, like... 85% of what actually happened and then no like 15% what actually happened and the rest is just like filled in by your mind or something like that I don't know if that's true or false I'm not sure I like I said I never took the class I'm sure somebody in the comments is gonna know which I'll be reading all your comments so leave them down below I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day hopefully you uh have a amazing day hopefully I made a time a little better I look forward to episode 22 the whispering force I hope to see you there but until then take care and keep the music We were playing as soldiers